$3,105. That is how much product we've given away since we migrated to our new loyalty program last November 6th. And that actually breaks down really, quite interestingly. It's all the same rewards that you've had with Vicinity, our previous program, but there are even more features that I'll explain very soon. So we, since November 6th, have given away 53 sausage rolls, 30 apple fritters, 110 loaves of bread, and 234 people converted their points into $10 worth of product. So when we add it all up, $3,105, just in the last two months alone. And that's great, you know, it's wonderful. It's, it's the reason why we have a loyalty program. And it was, it was really fun. Actually, a lot of people clearly were saving up their points for Christmas, which is fine. I mean, shop all year and get a present for yourself come Christmas time. Uh, we love it. It works for us. So what do we need from you to participate in this loyalty program? You know, what information do we collect and how do we use it? So it essentially is a cell phone number and an email address. And why do we want a cell phone number and email address? It's because there are the rewards that are based on what you spend, which is what I've described to you. The, uh, the $3,105 worth of product that you customers have earned through your purchases. But in addition, there are other little rewards I send to you basically to manipulate you into coming in more often. And so um, you get a free donut on your birthday. And so we need your birthday, you know, but we don't need the year. We're all 18 here, you know, like just need the day and the month. And we send out a text message or an email about a week before your birthday to remind you about that. But then there are also other rewards. Uh, some in the past we used to do buy one get one promotions on donuts when we had too many donuts and I'm going to start playing with some more rewards soon including some contests and some gift cards for other local businesses so if you want in on the action next time you're in the bakery make sure that we have a way to connect with you a way to to communicate with you directly. So check the loyalty program, make sure we have an accurate cell phone number and or email address. Ideally both actually, because one thing that is true about our new program is if we send out too many messages in a short period of time, then, uh, then we have to start paying for them. So if we have your email address and we've already used up our allotted number of text messages, then we can send you that email and then you won't miss out on, on whatever promotion we're cooking up that day. So again, um, also, one question people have is, why don't I get the messages anymore? I used to get messages. And it is ultimately about how often you're in the bakery. If, if uh, say, three months goes by and you haven't been in, then the loyalty program will consider you to be inactive and it may stop sending you the messages. I, I, there are features in, that I can change but I think it's a three month period right now. So you've got to come by, you know, we want to see you more often. We don't want to just have you come in twice a year and buy stacks of buns for your, your dinner parties, but we want to get to know you better and so let you get to know us and our products and, and why we do things the way we do. So thanks Medicine Hat. Hope I answered some of your questions about our loyalty program and hope to see you at the bakery.